on your bike in association with Safer Roads Humber, taking cycle safety seriously. Welcome to On Your Bike, a six-part series where I'll be on my bike, meeting interesting locals, cyclists and attractions, as well as visiting some of the hidden spots of our region. This week I'm in Beveling, one of the largest market towns in the region, steeped in history with lovely cobbled streets, a majestic minster and a thriving cafe culture. The town was originally known as Inda Awuda and was founded around 700 AD by St John of Beveling during the time of the Anglian Kingdom of Northumbria. So here I am enjoying a delicious breakfast and a cup of Earl Grey at this delightful cafe in Beverly, especially for cyclists. Now as you can see it's a cool little hub, great atmosphere, serves amazing coffee and before I meet Gary, the cafe's owner, I'm going to tuck into my delicious poached eggs on toast. What a fantastic cafe. Thank you very much. How long have you been here? Just short of nine months. So it's a fairly new setup then? It is, but we've had it in the planning prior to that for about a year and a half. I can see it's very busy this morning and it's a great atmosphere. How important would you say this cafe is to local tourism and of course cyclists coming into, into the town of Beverly? Um, with the tourists, obviously we get a lot of people from uh, within a 50 mile radius already for, uh, coming in wow. on the bikes. Um, obviously Scarborough, Lincoln, Scunthorpe, Grimsby, so Farrisville, Manchester that have ridden here. Um, and that's with the weather as it's been over the past three months, which has not been great. Glorious weather now. It's going to get busier and it's going to yes. get better. Um, so, for the tourism point of view, it's going to sort of put Beverly a little bit on the map because a cycling themed cafe, like I said, there's not that many there in the UK. It's quite unique. And there's a isn't lot it? more cyclists every week buying bikes. And I can see the bikes on here, bike racks. So, obviously, yep. the cyclists can come into this cafe, mount the bike. Yeah, and enjoy a nice latte. We've had all great. sorts of bikes in. We've had tandems. Obviously, we can't put them on the racks. We've had uh, kiddies bikes. We've had little scooters. Anything up to sort of ten, fifteen thousand yeah. pound bikes. Yeah. And of course, if you're uh, spending that amount of money, yeah. um, you want to make it safe. So, uh, what of a better way to uh, hang it's it when you indeed. can actually keep your eye on it? And what about the chopper? Do people still ride choppers? Um, not really. It was a little bit of a whim that I uh, started saving choppers about 12 years ago and I ended up with 22 of them. My collection's down to three now, that being one of them. But um, I get a lot of comments and the amount of people that we see walking by, stopping, having a double take, walking backwards, coming in and saying, I used to have one of those. Tell me one fantastic thing about cycling. It's good for your health. Um, it's great to meet new people. Uh, there are lots of clubs and, uh, around now whereby you can sort of uh, meet other people. Um, the government are behind it, um, and it's uh, it's a great way of losing weight. The amount of people that have uh, come in here and actually been on a bit of a health myself. and within three or four weeks they've lost stone, stone and a half. So I'll stick it up then. Absolutely. Get for my holiday you don't in the need summer. To, you don't need oh, I to do. Anyway. Well concealed. <laughs> and tell me one fantastic thing about Beverly. Um, it's a great town. It's a fantastic Church market town. Us. It's just on the wolds. Some great cycling roads at Beverly Westwood and then beyond all to the villages. Uh, there's a fantastic minster. We're looking out at St Mary's. Uh -huh. um, it's not too far from the ferry terminal. Yeah. Um, Close to Hull, of course. Of course. City of culture. Thank so, you very much. Yeah, I'll carry on my cup pleasure. Of tea. Yeah, enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> Beverly was once a notable wool trading town and occupied the title of being the tenth largest town in England at the time. Things have changed a little since then, of course. The Royal Bank of Scotland named Beverly as the best place to live in the UK in 2007 as part of their affordable affluence study. So it certainly has a lot to attract both tourists and cyclists to the town. Beverly is home to many cycling groups, including the East Yorkshire Cyclists Touring Club. The group is one of the largest national cycling groups with some 67,000 members. 
The group organised three rides each Sunday to cater for different preferences for their members. These are all day rides with a leader who keeps the group together safely. The club is 90 years old this year. I'm meeting Eric Crowther, the club's chairman, who's a bit of an expert when it comes to cycling. Eric, good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much for coming along on this beautiful spring morning to good tell me about your club. Yes. How long have you been a member? I've been a member for something like 15, 16 years. Uh, I became a cyclist when I uh, retired and I've enjoyed uh, the company of some uh, really nice people in CTC. It's a national organisation, is that uh, correct? Well, CTC, the Cyclist Touring Club, is a national organisation that's been around for a, a very long time and it's one of the biggest uh, cycling organisations and speaks on behalf of all sorts of cyclists uh -huh. on uh, uh, national measures, you know, national concerns. And what's the, what's the age range of your members, Eric, well, within the club? Does it vary or is there a specific age group? Uh, going back uh, a long time, uh, we had a lot more young members than we do now. And I think uh, the lack of uh, new young, mem or young members is largely due to concerns of parents about right. the condition okay. of the roads right. and how dangerous it is. It isn't as dangerous as it looks. Okay. But, uh, so I suppose if you're quite a competent cyclist... Yeah, and yeah you, so it doesn't need to be that dangerous. Or dangerous you can cycle well. safely. Yeah. yeah. I'm Good. about to head off to St Mary's Church in Beverley. But before I do, just a little bit of expert opinion from yourself, if that's OK. What yeah. do you think to this, to this bike? Well, I think that's a, a very handsome bike, isn't it? Handsome. Yes. It's a very it good is. word. Right. Yeah, <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm sure you'll uh, enjoy riding it. Um, it. It's not the sort of bike that we would encourage people to come out on Sunday rides. OK. Because it okay. doesn't have mud guards. Right. So that the next person in the line, when you're riding uh -huh. along, would get yeah. pretty wet. So Spotted in mud. We'd have to send you to the back. OK. <laughs> I don't mind being at the back. I don't mind being at the back. <laughs> it's a nice fair weather bike, anyway. And uh, so we would add, if you're going to keep it... Yes. I would, uh, I would put some mud guards on. Mud guards on. Well, I'm going to hop back on my bike now. OK. Make sure I've got my helmet. Yes. And no doubt I may see you one Sunday in your club. We would feel upset if we didn't. Yeah, oh, I think that's you're, good. Yeah, that's you know good. where we are. Most people know Beverley for the Minster and the fantastic view as you approach the town. There's been a church on that site since 9th century AD. But this is St Mary's Church, and if you're a literary person, then you might already know. It's often thought to be where Lewis Carroll, the author of Alice in Wonderland, was inspired to create the White Rabbit after seeing the carvings inside. I'm going to take a look inside this beautiful church, which is steeped in history. Hello. Samaris. Thank you very much for letting us come along. No, it's lovely to see you. This church is absolutely stunning. I know. We're very lucky to have a church of this magnitude and order in, in Beverley. And to have two, the Minster and St Mary's, is just extraordinary. But too often people miss it. Because they go down to the Minster and they forget St Mary's is there. Well, we haven't forgotten about it. Because no. it's got a beautiful history, fabulous architecture. What is its history, St Mary's Church? Well, it was started in 1120, so it's pretty old, uh, 900 years old, and um, it was started as a response, really, to what was uh, a monastic foundation at the Minster. Um, the people of Beverley wanted uh, to have their own church that was free from the church authorities a little bit, um, and they went off and, and built it, and so we have this extraordinary building here. And I believe, Becky, the church has links to... Lewis Carroll's famous Alice in Wonderland. The it, White Rabbit is nestled somewhere in this church. I have spotted it. What's the history behind that? Well, the, the carving is very old. It's kind of 1300s, probably. That's when other parts of the church were, were done. Um, and so, obviously, it wasn't... The, the rabbit didn't follow Lewis Carroll. It was here to start with. Uh, but when Lewis Carroll 
uh, had family around here and of course he himself was connected with the church it's very very likely that he came here and he sent his artist a man called Tenniel around looking for places to draw to back up the story that he'd written um, and there is what looks like very good evidence that the picture that Tenniel drew is almost an wow. exact replica of our rabbit. And as I've walked around your beautiful church, I've noticed a lot of the masonry is crumbling both inside and out. Yeah, our, our church building is very old. It's very, very loved, and there's been a lot of uh, energy and care around it. It's a really thriving church community we have. But it's still a very old building, and, and it's built of magnesium limestone, which um, is very hard to get hold of. The restoration that needs doing is throughout the building. Right. So it's massive. So our architect has quoted something like five million pounds. How can people donate then? Well, they can go to our website. We've got a website, uh, and, and there's a donation click link through there. Uh, they, can, they can write to us. Best still, come and visit church, pick up a blue envelope and put a few pounds in it. Well, buildings, beautiful buildings like this, Becky, need to be preserved for everyone to yeah. enjoy. So good luck with your restoration appeal. And long may St Mary's Church be a wonderful part of Beverly. Thank you. Thank you. Join me in part two, where I'll be having a flutter on the horses, sampling some delicious chocolate and enjoying the great British tradition of fish and chips. On your bike in association with Safer Roads Humber, taking road safety seriously.